This might not be bad, but it doesn't look good. This is our 2007 Toyota Yaris, and today I'll show you how to replace the PCV valve. A clogged PCV valve may lead to increased oil consumption, oil leaks, decreased fuel efficiency, or even a rough idle and misfiring, but it's a relatively cheap part to replace if you suspect it isn't working correctly. This car also had a leaky valve cover gasket that was dripping onto the belt, making it squeal, so I replaced the gasket and the PCV valve at the same time, and I'll have a video on replacing the valve cover gasket coming out next week. Anyway, this is a very simple job, so let's get to it. Here are the tools that I used for this job. Socket wrench, torque wrench, 10 millimeter socket, 19 millimeter wrench, and tongue and groove pliers. For this job, I also needed gloves, a rag, a magnetic bowl, and a new PCV valve. There are links in the description for everything I used. I'll start by removing the plastic engine cover, which is secured with four 10 millimeter nuts. The PCV valve is located here on the edge of the valve cover. Squeeze the clamp and slide it out of the way, then pull off the hose. If the hose is stuck, you can break it loose with a pair of pliers, but use a rag to protect the rubber. Now the PCV valve can be removed with a 19 millimeter or three quarter inch wrench. In hindsight, a socket wrench with a deep socket would have been faster than using a wrench. I can still hear the valve moving freely when I shake it. So this might not be bad, but it doesn't look good. Even if the valve is moving freely, all that gunk inside might prevent it from sealing properly. The new PCV valve can be torqued to 20 foot-pounds, so if you're not using a torque wrench, make sure not to over-tighten it. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but these threads are tapered, so the further in it goes, the tighter it gets. You don't need to crank it down too tight, just make sure it's snug and it's not gonna fall out. Reattach the hose with its clamp, and then we're ready to install the plastic cover. Here's the last piece, and yes, I did clean it before you got here, along with a couple other parts in the engine bay. It was really dirty. Anyway, I'll just put these last four bolt, or uh, these last four nuts on, then we'll be done. And these should be torqued to 62 inch pounds. You know nobody torques these, but I found the torque spec in the service manual, so I'm gonna use it. I'm almost done with that valve cover gasket video, so stay tuned for that one coming soon. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more of the best DIY videos on the internet. And until next time, just keep throwing money at it.